state parks are just as great as many of our national parks when you're visiting them throughout the United States and Utah State Parks meet that level of expectation. We're a family friendly state and our parks are family friendly. Not just our residents, but our visitors have a safe place to come and recreate and enjoy the outdoors. With the increased demand in state parks, we have seen and are grateful for the reinvestment that has come into them. This investment has gone into everything from new trails to new beaches, parking lots, bathrooms that really ultimately help with the visitor experience. Located just off the Wasatch Front, Willard Bay invested in a brand new pond just as you're entering into the park. The park is really starting to feel like many other public land areas throughout our state. The pressures of folks coming out and recreating more into the area. An investment like the pond in Willard Bay allows for visitors to be dispersed throughout their visit by allowing visitors to disperse on paddle boards and kayaks. So all of those amenities now allow for the visitors to have the true experience that was what was intended for the state park. By expanding that resource and that amenity, we're also allowing as state parks for local business opportunities, which is a key part of the state parks, is to help support the local economies. So here at Club Rec at Willard Bay, we have 15 to 20 employees. Throughout the state of Utah, we have about 50 to 60 employees. If state parks can continue to invest in projects like this, it gives me as a business owner and other business owners opportunities to expand and to grow and to support the community. Dead Horse Point State Park is located just outside of Moab, Utah. Dead Horse Point has seen a huge increase in visitation over the past five years. People just keep coming because it's such a great place to visit. One of the reinvestments at Dead Horse Point State Park was the road to Moen Kopi Yurts. The Dead Horse Point paving project was really critical just because it allowed us to really harden the area because it receives a lot of traffic, a lot of impacts, and with asphalt we were able to make that road last a lot longer. We take care of our parks. When people know our roads are well kept, they can expect the rest of the park will be well kept as well. Bear Lake is another extremely popular state park for camping, boating, fishing, and ultimately year-round fun. Last year, Bear Lake saw improvements to the popular Rendezvous Beach area. We're excited for the expansion into North Eden. The people are outgrowing the parks. Many, many more people are coming every year. Parks is also looking for future expansions as well. Ultimately, those expansions will help to further improve the visitor experience and help with that dispersion of travelers and visitors. When you bring that many people into our area, you've got to have services for them to continue to come back. Because if you don't have them, they're going to look for other places to go. Utah State Parks, we're really excited about this new innovation of RV park models. Ultimately, it's a glamping experience, you're home away from home. By offering these park model RVs to the general public, it's allowing people that don't have their own RVs, even their own tents. It allows them just to load in a car, take their family up to the mountains, and enjoy a wonderful experience in a state park. We're excited to offer this to the public next season. And we're also looking forward as this will provide housing for both full-time and seasonal staff. No state park list is complete without mentioning Antelope Island. It was so popular, the entrance was really feeling that pressure where the line was backed up from the entrance point all the way into town. As a result, state parks invested in a second lane that allowed for that speed of entry into the state park. With the increased visitation, state parks saw the need to construct a new campground. This is a 40-site campground with hookups, which allows for a more modernized experience for the visitor, as well as still allowing them to experience the Wild West. With all the state parks projects and reinvestments, we're also excited about these projects. Updated bathrooms at multiple state parks, a new entrance station at Escalante Petrified Forest, the new parking lot at Quail Creek, and a new visitor center at Otter Creek State Park and the many other projects that are currently completed and underway. State parks really benefit the local economy through providing employment, all the visitors that come to town and the related resources in terms of hotels, restaurants, you know, gift shops that go along with that, and it's very sustainable. Utah has uh, what, probably the top economy in the nation, and one of the great things about the way we do things here in Utah is we, we have an eye for the future, and this is definitely an investment in the here and now 
as well as future generations. From all of these reinvestments in state parks, you can see why it's so important to continue to invest in our state parks, not only for the quality visitor experience, but also for quality of life for our Utah residents.